Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Lane Commuter Backpack from Timbuk2, which is a highly weather resistant 18 liter everyday carry bag. And I've been testing this out for the past couple of weeks and so far it's been a really great experience. I've looked at a bunch of Timbuk2 bags on the channel in the past and I've always really enjoyed using them. They're very well made, they usually have a great style, tons of protection for your devices. And a really nice thing about this one is that it's part of Timbuk2's No Wet Laptops collection, which means that it focuses a lot on providing a very weather resistant bag to keep all of your electronics safe while you're on the go. And so far, it's done a really great job of doing just that. It's been a great experience using the bag, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting out with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. It definitely has a very modern and sleek look, and it feels like it's gonna fit in well into a variety of environments, whether you're using this for walking around the city or even taking it into the office. If you're familiar with Timbuktu's Parker Pack, this aesthetic should feel familiar. This is actually a smaller version of the Parker Pack, which is one of Timbuktu's popular bags. And we'll actually be taking a look at that in a separate video. And the bag is offered in a few different colors. The version that we have here is the black version, and it also has kind of a bluish accent here near the bottom. But if you want to check out the other colors that it's offered in, make sure to visit Timbuktu's site. And then as far as the materials, the bag is made out of a durable Cordura fabric. On the outsides, it feels a little bit like ballistic nylon, but on the side, it doesn't actually say what the material is. Regardless, it feels like it's gonna offer a nice amount of weather resistance, which ties in nicely to Timbuktu's No Wet Laptops campaign. On the front, there's also this nice kind of tarpaulin-like material on the areas where you might have some of your more sensitive electronics. And then continuing along the outside, the bag also has very nice YKK zippers all throughout. The zippers have a nice amount of weather resistance and then most of them have flaps that actually come over to provide some additional protection against the rain. And then if you really want to make sure that your bag is very well protected, especially if you get caught in a heavier downpour, the bag also has a removable rain cover that you can pull out from this compartment on the bottom. And so it's very easy to get the rain cover in and out and it's really nice how well it actually covers the whole bag. So if you're riding your bike and you get caught in a much heavier storm, this is gonna do a good job of keeping you protected. And then the nice thing about the rain cover, as I mentioned, is it is removable. So if you don't wanna use it or it doesn't look like it's gonna rain, you can just leave it at home and then you have an additional compartment on the bottom that's gonna be great for storing some extra accessories. And then along the front, there's also a few attachment points where you can clip things on with something like a carabiner. I also have some removable straps from Wander that I use to attach a larger accessory such as a jacket or maybe a skateboard. And then moving down along the bottom here hidden, there's also a few additional webbings that you can use to attach something like a bike light. It's a little bit hidden under this compartment. So nice additional attachment points here. And I really love all the versatility offered for what you can carry on the bag. One last thing that I'll note along the front is this bottom panel here offers a nice amount of visibility. It's gonna reflect well against light if you happen to be riding your bike at night to make you just a little bit more visible. While we're on the outside, I was also happy to see that there are two external water bottle compartments and these offer a nice amount of space. So currently what I have in here is the same water bottle that you've seen in all my other daily bag videos and that fits in there very comfortably. So a nice amount of space here. I really like that it has some elasticity. So if you have a thicker bottle, it should be able to fit in there okay. The compartment also goes fairly deep to prevent your water bottle from falling out. And then I really like that there's also this hole on the bottom that's gonna allow any water to drain if you do get caught in some rain or if your water bottle happens to leak. Wrapping up the external components of the bag, at the top there is a very nice comfortable top handle that's made out of a seatbelt like material so it's very comfortable to hold and it also has a nice amount of durability. And then moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 18 liters, which is a really great daily bag size. I was able to fit all the items that I normally like to carry with me. And the bag also maintains a very slim profile, which is gonna make it great for moving around crowded cities or jumping onto public transit. And then moving on to the straps and the back paneling, overall the bag has been super comfortable to wear. I really like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding. They're really soft on the inside. They have this mesh material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then they also have a really great width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders even when it's fully packed out. On top of that, the bag also has an adjustable and removable sternum strap and it has this magnetic fit lock buckle here that's gonna be great for keeping the bag secured and helping to distribute the weight. One thing that I will note about the sternum strap is that although it's easy to adjust with this system, this is the type of kind of clip system that does tend to be a little bit looser and I would be a little bit cautious about making sure that you don't lose either of the pieces to the strap. A few additional nice touches here on the strap, especially for the commuter, is that there are some reflective panels here to add some visibility when you're riding your bike. And then there's also a nice elastic band on each strap where you could maybe attach something like an additional light or maybe hang your sunglasses while you're walking around. 
Continuing on with the back paneling, I really like how this has been implemented as well. It's been very comfortable, a nice amount of padding here. I really like the meshing material that's on this padding to help prevent moisture from building up. And then I love how elevated the padding is as well to create this air channel to help with airflow throughout the day. So overall, with the straps and the back paneling, the bag has just felt really great to wear, even when I've been wearing it for a longer period of time throughout the day. And then jumping into the different organizational options, I like how many different pockets the bag has to make your stuff easy to find throughout the day. And so starting off with this quick access area on the top, as I mentioned earlier, nice flaps covering all the zippers that are more exposed to the elements. And then I really like the zipper pulls that all of these have. They feel a little bit fancier and they have the Timbuktu logo here. So opening this compartment up, Nice amount of space here. One of the nice things about this compartment is that it actually has a very soft fleece lining, so it's gonna be great for anything a little bit more delicate that you need to store. And so jumping in, the first thing that I have in here is my Apple AirPods Pro. And then I also have my Ray-Bans with their case. And so because of the fleece lining, I might not have to actually use a case for my sunglasses. They should be pretty well protected against scratching, but this compartment isn't super padded, so there might still be a chance that my sunglasses could get crushed. With the case, it was a slightly tighter fit, but for the most part, I really like the amount of space that's offered here. Even with those items in there, I still had a little bit of leftover space as there was something smaller than I wanted to add. And then moving down along the front, there is another slightly larger, simple compartment. This one has a magnetic opening. It has this flap that kind of comes over. And I really like the use of magnets here. So this is going to be a very quick area to be able to access. One thing to note about this flap is that it's slightly more exposed, in my opinion, to the elements. I did notice that Timbuktu kind of created this ledge here. So it's not quite exposed to the elements. But if you don't properly close this flap or if you put something a little bit larger, I would be a little bit worried about rain getting in. For the most part though, everything seems fairly well protected. So opening this up, very simple layout here, no sort of internal organization or fleece lining. And so jumping in, the item that I have here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And then next to that, there is also this nice long lanyard with a metallic clip that's gonna make it very easy to reach your keys during the day. The only thing that I currently have attached here is my Gerber Dime multi-tool, but I really like the implementation that Timbuktu has on these clips. Besides that, I don't really have anything else in this compartment, but plenty of space here. I can easily fit my hand. As I mentioned earlier, no sort of internal organization, but just an area that's gonna be very easy to access quickly throughout the day. And then continuing on to the bottom of the bag, there's one additional quick access area. This was a slightly trickier one to access just because of the flap covering the zipper and it's a little bit smaller, but still a nice amount of space here. And so currently what I have in this compartment is my Apple Magic Mouse. And then I also have a lightning cable to charge my tablet and my phone. Besides that, not a whole lot of stuff in this area, no sort of internal organization here either. So I really like that they just included these simpler compartments that offer plenty of space, especially if you need to carry some bulkier items with you throughout the day. The next area that we're gonna take a look at is the laptop compartment. And this also has a very well protected zipper. At the top, it has this zipper garage to help prevent water from getting in. And I really like that this bag has both side access and you can actually get to the laptop area from the top as well. So I really like this side access zipper better though, just because it allows me to get into my laptop a lot quicker without having to open up the main compartment. Nice wide opening here, very easy to get your laptop in and out of the bag. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can definitely fit up to a 15 inch laptop in here. It also comes up a nice amount, so if you have a slightly thicker device, it should be able to fit in here okay. No sort of fleece lining on the inside of the compartment, but I do like that it's suspended off the bottom of the ground, so if you happen to drop your bag, your device should be very well protected. So pulling this out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. I really like this ripstop lining, even though it's not super soft, it does feel very well protected and weather resistant. And then there's also just a nice amount of padding all throughout the compartment. So really nice implementation here. It definitely feels like my laptop is gonna be very safe as I'm running around throughout the day. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment. So this is a top loading bag and the zipper comes down a nice amount to provide you with enough visibility for everything that's in the main area. And I really like how much space is offered here. Even though this is a bit of a slimmer bag, it manages to handle some bulkier items pretty well. And so jumping in, the first item that I have here is my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then down near the bottom, I also have my Goldruck wired up, which is where I have a lot of my smaller tech accessories. And then next up, I have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then I have a simple folder to hold my receipts and papers. And then the last thing that I have in here is my Levitate portable standing desk and that fits in there really comfortably. 
And so now with the compartment a little empty, you can get a better feel for the inside. I really like this simple layout here. It gives you a lot of flexibility with what you can store. You can see how much the bag comes up. And this is what makes it a little bit better for holding bulk your items. You can maybe even toss in something like a smaller packing cube or a pair of shoes and some gym clothes. So nice amount of flexibility here. I like that there's not a whole lot of internal organization adding clutter, so very simple. And then on the back, you can get a better look at the laptop sleeve. This is the same thing that we access from the side. So if you prefer to grab it from the top, you can do so. The sleeve itself, as you can get a better look here, it's not super thick. I do wish that it had been just a little bit more padded, but as I mentioned earlier, it's nicely elevated and then it just stays out of the way if you don't have to carry your laptop with you on a particular day. So really like the overall layout of this main area and the rest of the bag. Everything is very well designed and thought out. And if you're looking for a solid, and versatile daily carry bag that's gonna hold up very well in inclement weather. This is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Lane Commuter Pack over the past couple of weeks. It's been very comfortable to wear. It has a really solid build quality, tons of weather resistance, a nice amount of organization, and I just really like the overall look. And so you can currently purchase this on Timbuktu's site for about $180, which is definitely a bit of an investment. But considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer, you are getting a lot of value for that price. And on top of that, this does compare well to other bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, one of the first bags this made me think of was the Wander Duo Day Pack, which we looked at really recently. That's a very weather resistant bag. It has tons of great features, some really nice organizational options, and it's gonna be a really great option if you have to carry some lightweight camera gear with you. That one's gonna come in at a little bit of a higher price point at around $220, but if you're looking to have something that's gonna give you a little bit more access than this and still offer a ton of weather resistance and access for your camera, that's gonna be a good option to check out. The next bag this made me think of was the Weatherproof Commuter from The Ridge, which is a really solid daily bag. It has a nice look, some nice weather resistance. It's not gonna be quite as comfortable as this, and it doesn't have the same reflective accents that make this so great for riding on a bike or something like that. But if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you like something that has a clamshell style opening for easier packing, that's gonna be a great option to check out. Another bag this made me think of is the Mystery Ranch Prize Fetter Pack, which is a really solid daily bag that comes in at a very similar size. It's not gonna be quite as weather resistant as this, but it is a little bit less expensive. It's very comfortable and it has a little bit of a simpler layout. So if you like a more minimalist aesthetic, that's gonna be a great option to keep in mind as well. The last option that I'll mention here, if you're looking for something with a little bit more of a professional aesthetic, is the Bellroy Classic Backpack, which we looked at a little while ago. That's a very comfortable and well-made bag. It has a very simple layout, great laptop protection. It's not gonna have quite the same amount of weather resistance as this, but it's still gonna keep your stuff very well protected. And if you're looking for something simple that's gonna blend in a little bit more into a workplace environment, that's gonna be a great option to check out. With that being said, the Lane Commuter Backpack holds up really well against all those bags, and if you're looking for something that's gonna keep your stuff very well protected in the rain, that's gonna offer a solid build quality and be very comfortable to wear, this is gonna be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Lane Commuter Pack and about Timbuktu's No Wet Laptops collection. And if there are any similar bags that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.